On May 22nd, as you may know, the CDC published a report stating that the infection fatality rate, that is, the rate of death among both confirmed and assumed cases of COVID-19, is only 0.26%. This paints a much brighter picture than the WHO's estimate of 3.4% from March 3rd. Now it's May 31st, 2020, and I'm surfing the John Hopkins COVID death map and case map to see how their real-time data jives with the new CDC estimate. The John Hopkins site uses CDC data. Let's see. 6 million and change confirmed infected. 369,000 and change dead. That's a case fatality rate of about 6%, a magnitude larger than the CDC's recent 0.26 figure. In order to match the CDC's new estimate, at least one variable has to change drastically. Either the number of global deaths has to drop from 369,000 to 15,000, or the number of COVID cases needs to expand from 6 million cases to 142 million cases. Whichever CDC data you consider to be wrong, it's wrong by a factor of 95.8%. So let me know who you think is right. The CDC or the CDC? Thanks for watching.